This is a two bank Deltran battery tender. I've been using these since roughly 2011 and they do a great job of keeping, keeping the batteries uh, fully charged. When I'm out of town, the cars are always ready to go. Uh, and I mean, these days there's so many computer functions running on in the cars, two, three weeks and you, know, you come back to a dead battery or a weak battery. So they keep things topped off and monitors the charge and keeps a nice flow charge going. The battery tender comes with two different types of connectors and there's a third option you'll see in a moment. Uh, here you have the common uh, battery clip-on connectors. This obviously is a temporary mount. You uh, just simply clip it to the proper battery terminals and uh, you know connect it to the tender. Now the tender is protected in case you manage to uh, hook them up backwards. Uh, the connectors themselves, you know, the quick connects cannot be uh, connected improperly, but in case you put the wrong terminals on the battery, the unit is protected. A third option that's available, actually at an additional expense, is a cigarette lighter adapter or accessory plug adapter. If you have a car that has a uh, accessory plug that is always on, I believe Porsche and possibly Lincoln have that, I don't know of others, uh, it is an option where you can charge the battery via the accessory port and using the cigarette lighter adapter. My preference is to use the more permanent type connector. The uh, unit does come with a ring connector that you can just screw on to the battery terminal for a permanent uh, connection. Now here the positive terminal is connected. Uh, the negative terminal I use a chassis ground for. I'll show you that, though I believe you can use the battery terminal for it. I tend to do it through the chassis. And here we have the chassis ground uh, on the side wall. And as I said, it's very simple to do. Here we have a close up of the quick connect. They are polarized plugs and pretty much idiot proof for connections. It's virtually impossible to uh, hook this up wrong. and the connected connectors that makes for a secure connection and as i said it's virtually an idiot so the connection. car is connected to bank two we now have a uh, glowing amber light which indicates it's charging when it's at 90 percent charge the light to the left of it will come on blinking and we'll have the two lights going at full charge just the green light will be on which will be to the left of the amber light if the two cars were connected, you'd see two solid ambers right now. Now, the reason, another reason why I get the 25-foot connectors is I will quite often have a car out in the driveway. And, you know, I'll need the extra length to uh, hook the car up up there. As a matter of fact, I had a car hooked up all winter, and it was outside the driveway in the driveway and it worked fine just ran it under the door and plugged it in and the car was ready to go when we got back and here we have the green light flashing on the left with the amber light sil solid and that is bank two the car is now at 90 percent charge so another couple hours it'll be just the green and it will be fully charged and then it goes to float and we'll just maintain and monitor the charge level and keep the battery fully charged. And here we have the car fully charged. The green light is solid. The amber light has gone out.
And there you have it. It's relatively simple to hook up, simple to install, uh, dependable, uh, keeps your car in uh, a fully charged condition, and it just monitors that condition. So you know, if you go on vacation, you know the car will be good to go when you get home.